darn. Continue. When I got the opportunity to go to LA, I was like, I'm not going to let this fear get at me because, you know, it's something that I really want to do. Somewhere, you know, I want to start getting myself back into traveling because I'm a traveler. I am. A, I used to travel a lot when I, you know, when it was kind of less children. But even though I still, you know, try to figure out a way for us all to travel. You know, I like my children to, you know, um, um, see different parts of the world because you can't stay stuck in one place. Like, come on. If that was the case, we would all be in like one huge pot, but we're not, you know, um, we were, we were favored to be able to, you know, see so much more of the world because the world has a lot to offer, but you just have to, you have to be really careful and cautious about how you go about, um, maneuvering your way in this world, you know, and you, you gotta be cautious yeah you know but you can't let fear stop you you can't let fear stop you because it will hold you back and it will just absolutely have you on a like you'll be scared to do so much and you know things that you're going to deprive yourself of some happiness and I for some years I did you know for some time I did because it's like you know I, I you know I wanted to plan trips but it's like dang I gotta fly so mm, I don't know if I can't take the train or the bus or drive, you know, I ain't going if I got to fly. But when I got on that plane, I was like, yo, I'm looking at all these people and like, I'm looking at the stewardess and I'm like, and, and the pilots, and I'm like, they do this every day. You know what I'm saying? And they get to just see the world. Like you get to see the world on top of the, you know, like over top of the class. It was, it was a very beautiful experience. Um, the turbulence, you know, that's something that you got to deal with. Um, I mean, flying is a good experience. And I would say that, you know, if, if you ever have the opportunity to get the chance to go that high up in the sky and travel, you know, to a different time zone, do it. Don't deprive yourself of it. Do it. Experience it. You'll enjoy it, you know. And what I would say, what I did was I, I meditated. <laughs> I meditated before I got there. Meditated while I was on a plane. And meditated when I got off. Like I, I did all of that. And cause I said I was like, yo, <laughs> it may sound crazy, but I was like, hey, if 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 you know if I don't make it, I will say that, you know, I'm grateful to be able to have challenged, you know, myself to see um and overcome a worry, a fear, you know. And it I was I was cool. Even through the turbulence, I've been like, <laughs> and I actually liked it. <laughs> I actually liked the turbulence. I was like, oh, it's kind of, yeah, kind of soothing in a way, but yeah, you know, and then going through all the, you know, the check of, you know, it was a, just a whole different experience. And, you know, that had kept me away from flying too because you know all the uh you know when you gotta go through the the check and all of that and they check in your bags or whatever i had a bit of an experience on the way back though like excuse me pardon me they they actually went through my bags because they i had some i don't know who, who knows what this product is but gorilla gel i don't know i usually I normally don't buy it but for some reason we were like out there at a store and you know i'm just picking up some souvenirs here and there i was like oh gorilla gel okay get it forgetting that it was like way big way big i forgot how many ounces it was but when i got to the um security checkout at the airport you know he's like oh you can't take this and i'm like i'm like oh okay throughout my waters throughout my juices you know and i'm like but I'm like, oh, I forgot. But the thing was, he was so generous to where he's like, you know, because I had my son with me, my four-year-old son. He's like, how old is your son? Because he went through his bag too. And, he, you know, we had all the snack. You know, I was like, I didn't know. I didn't know. But the cool thing about it is like, you know, I learned how I work in situations like that. I was calm. Um, you know, one of the workers there, you know, 
he was like, I was, it was just, it was a overall, it was just the coolest experience. And, um, I'm glad that I went, I accompanied my daughter, you know, with her business or whatever. And it was, it was fun. Um, if I had more time there, I think I would have adjusted like really, really great. The weather was awesome. It was like spring type weather. Um, sad to say it was, it's a lot of homelessness out there in, in LA. Um, it's, it's really sad that, you know, we have a country that has so much unfortunate individuals and, you know, so like if you can make money, you have a money machine and you can just make up money. Like, why can't they just make up money and get, you know, like get like a whole, like each state should have like a whole like area where, you know, the most unfortunate individuals will be able to go and, you know, get help that they need because these people aren't homeless for no reason. There's a reason behind why, you know, these people are living on a street. Families are living on a street. Sorry, individuals are living on a street. It was just like, so sad. Like, you know, we were, oh yeah, try this place in and out. It was all right, it was all right, but I I wouldn't break my neck and fly <laughs> and fly like five six hours to go and get it. Like I'll make my own in and out, but it was an experience. We checked it out. It was cool. Like my daughter, she had she she's been there a few times, a couple times already, so she knew how the food was. And I was like, Is this what? What's the height? What 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 is it? I I didn't know. Milkshakes was bubble guttish yeah um i didn't like anything I, I did eat the burger but you know it is what it is but yeah and, and at that time i was honestly speaking i was looking for the homeless like i was hoping that i would find somebody that was in need of a meal or something like that and like you know like it just it just made me ponder some some things and you know in the future I'm going to do something to be able to pay it for to be able to help the less fortunate um and that that's a goal of mine I mean I do it single-handedly when I can and you know when I'm confronted with you know someone or a, a, a family that um needs you know because you just never know what tomorrow will bring and um I just it 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 just did something to me to know that and I was also told that a lot of states are sending their homeless um um people to LA I mean LA like it's beautiful out there. It's like a lot of space and everything, but the homeless out there is like something that I've never really seen like that, like that. And I thought like PA, you know, had a situation. PA has a homeless situation as well, but oh my gosh, LA is overwhelming. They're like everywhere and they can, they have it where they, they can squat anywhere. They can squat anywhere. And I just feel so bad because it's like you see so much unused land or you see so many, um, you know, unoccupied properties and you have all these people, these beautiful souls out here without like, oh my gosh, like, come on, you know, but each one teach one, man. Like if, like I said, whenever I'm faced with an opportunity to be able to give back and pay it forward to someone or an organization that is in need, like, you know, like here, just here, you know, like I don't even second guess myself because we, 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 we've all probably had a time when you was lacking something. And I know you were grateful that someone came and saw your need and tried to help you, you know, that is something that goes such a long way. And just like 
You can't judge a book by its cover. You never know why this person or these individuals or this family is on, you know, down and out. You never know why. And I just feel like if we all loving ourselves more, we'll be able to have enough heart with feeling and love to be able to help the person beside us or help the person that's down or guide, you know, help to righteously guide someone through something. So, um, just love yourself first so that you can love somebody else and learn how to make yourself happy. We cannot be out here like, oh, he better do this or, oh, she better do this because like, look, that's what's going to make me happy. What about you making your own self happy? What the freak? You know, everybody individually goes through something, you know, and that's a lot of burden sometimes. Like, why don't we both make each other happy? Let's do that. You know what I'm saying? Let's do that. Stop being selfish out here. You're never being selfish when you're loving yourself. But I'm saying stop being selfish as far as like, you know, you know, just, you know, give a little sometimes. I mean, when I'm going through something like I, I be hoping that I'm, I come past somebody so I can help them. I swear, I swear, I be like, you know, cause that's what makes me happy. When I can give to someone or to, to a organization or, or a, a, a needed situation that's going to help pave the way for somebody else. Like I'll be looking forward to that. Like that's just in my heart and I'm never going to stop being that way. Like I'm always going to have love. An unconditional love. Um, sometimes when, uh, you know, people are going through things and they come off to a person so negatively, you know, it's not really them. That's just the emotion that's overtaking them, you know. And, you know, we have to learn how to, you know, when we, when we hurt somebody else, you know, be knowledgeable of that. And out of respect, just, you know, let them know, like, you know, A, I was going through this and that at the moment, and I my apologies, you know, like, I I don't like the word sorry, but my apologies, because, you know, to me, like, I do apologize because I didn't mean it, you know, I, I you know, when, when we're going through something, we're upset, or we're confused, sometimes we're not always um, mindful of what we're saying, what we're thinking, and the actions that we're uh, taken. Sometimes we're not mindful. We just like being a in a trance and just be doing shit. Oops, stuff. Cause I know kids watching. <laughs> but for real though, you know, just um, just love yourself unconditionally so that you can love the next person. You know, or so that you can have some, you know, enough warmth in your heart to be able to, you know, be mindful enough to see really what's going on and so that you can you know do what's right and i'm gonna tell y'all man 2020 you know it's the beginning but you know just be prepared and get ready you know i'm not saying anything negative but just get yourself right get yourself right eat right think right so you can feel right okay like word up and things will start to happen in your life that you need to happen and if you see somebody that's in need like that's really in need man pay it for it please you know please can you pay it for it because if we can all do that you know we will all be able to like function and live amongst each other in a more of a positive and loving way all right so um with that being said like, I just want to thank y'all for continuously watching me and always love the God and God is within you. You know, like this life that we were granted is a blessing. You know, every day you wake up, it's it's you should be full of gratitude and thankfulness because it's some people that don't wake up, you know. And I mean, just like, you know, not just sleep physically in a bed. I also mean mentally, mindful, knowledgeable, wake up, look at life with logic, look at life with 
righteousness okay look at life with all truthfulness like you know life is good life is good and being your own daggone race okay stop trying to like you know race up to somebody and catch up to them so y'all could be racing at the same time stop that you be great for yourself and love it I'm still sitting here at the bank, but I'm about to go. But I appreciate you guys. Like I said, like, um, I know I was jumping all over the place, but it's just like this meant to, I take in so much, you know, I read a lot. I do a lot of current events and stuff like that. So a lot of stuff that I want to say, I have to be careful how I say it and put it out there because, you know, um, was watching but yeah how y'all like my hair being too knotted it <laughs> something i can hold on to for a good few days and you know i ain't gotta do nothing but yeah i love it and i like it i don't care about what nobody else think or say about it i love it and i like it and that's what makes me happy see see how easy that is see how easy that is yeah, and, and it's not hard. It's not hard when you love yourself. You know, take it easy. Take your time. Take it easy and take your time. Yeah, um, all I do, I don't do makeup, right? But I do the uh, the eyeliner. That's that's the stuff that you put underneath. And, uh, you know, to flip the um, eyelashes. I don't do all that other stuff. So you're going to always see my blemishes, baby. Mm. Yeah, and I, I'm, you know, still beautiful. You know, beauty is skin deep, yo. But psh, my heart is gorgeous. My heart and mine, the most beautifulest thing in the world. I mean, my flesh is beautiful too, but oh, the heart, mind, and soul is just off the chain. It's definitely leveled up. But anyway, like, you know, that's what makes me happy about myself, you know, knowing that part about me know yourself know what makes you happy know what makes you tick you know what i'm saying and know your triggers too because people will come at you in all kinds of ways when they you know when they going through something or when they think they can just kind of like get you in a in a miserable place that they're in nah let them be in that box by themselves okay because misery loves company and when that comes about, it's like the world looks so much different. So get out of that. Get out of it and, like, you know, get out into the sunshine. You know, do something for yourself, whether it's eating something that's going to, you know, benefit your body in a healthy way or, you know, read something that's going to, you know, elevate your mind mentally <clears throat> so that you can, you know, look at life in a whole different and better perspective. Um exercise if you feel that you need to you know you you know you're not happy with your body image okay you figure it out and you fix it all right but love it love your body all right and um other than that like you know and just have love man just have unconditional love i you know it's not hard to do if you do it as a ritual it's not hard to do you know um because i do it every day and people be amazed like she is just like so chippery for no reason sometimes yeah i mean i have my days best believe that ask my kids you know um they know when mommy's quiet they like oh boy what is it well, you know, I ain't talking as much or I'm not as chip chippery. It's like, you know, that's me taking my time to figure some things out, you know. And it's just what it is. Everybody has their day and time. But, you know, always do your best to stay in the game, man. Stay in the game. Because life is a game. And you want to have a beautiful life. You want to have a happy life. You know what I'm saying? But it's about to roll out. Like, okay. <laughs>
I know the people in the bank like, what is she doing? She's still there. All right. I went in the bank. It was just so cool, though. You know what I'm saying? Me and my chippery self, you know, they like, oh, my God. They just like, yeah. You know, I love the whole doors. I don't care. You know, I love to say hi, good morning, good evening, good afternoon to individuals. You know what I'm saying? I love it. I love to put a smile on somebody's face. I'm sorry. That's what I do. And I ain't stopping because we got to keep spreading this love. It's 12 o'clock. All right. About to go. About to go. Hey. All right. I don't own the rights to that music, but it was just on my radio. But other than that, y'all, you know, do what I had said. Just think about it. Just think about it. But like I said, um, God is in the God is in me just as the God is in you. Know it, love it, and live it. Okay. And you know, like I said, you know, the moral of this conversation is love yourself enough so that you can love somebody else. Okay. And elevate yourself as much and as often as possible. And don't stop. Don't stop. All right? Word up. Don't stop. Love you guys. Take care. You're too blessed for the stress. All right. Love y'all. Righteousness.